Shane Gutierrez and another topic on the minds of many Americans, our new weekly series, News Nation Inflation Index. It tracks the price of some common goods each week to bring you fact-based coverage of this crisis. And new today, in the top 10 states hit hardest by inflation, the average price for a gallon of milk is nearly $5. Look at that. But that's actually down 7 cents from last week, but up 16% from just a year ago. And looking at those same states hit hardest by inflation, the average price for a dozen eggs, $3.61. That is also down. That's down 18 cents from a week ago. But overall, the price is up 32% from a year ago. And lastly, the average price of a loaf of bread, $3.64. That price did go down 22 cents from a week ago, but it's still up 9% from a year ago. So joining us now to talk about inflation, News Nation business contributor Lydia Moynihan. Lydia, is this a sign maybe things are slightly improving? I, yes, I think any news is good news, and um, it's going to take a while for inflation levels uh, to come down to where you know they're closer to two percent. But but in the meantime, I think it's it's very good news that we're we're headed in the right direction here. Clearly. All right, so Lydia, you know we'll take any good news that we can get at this point. Uh, and it was also another rough start to the week on Wall Street. And that means a rough start really to the second half of the year after the S&P had its worst first half year since all the way back in 1970. So, Lady, are there any signs we could maybe see things turn around in the next six months? Yeah, mar markets were closed for the 4th of July holiday, but we still saw fireworks on Wall Street. And, um, you know, there was some optimism over the weekend. Futures looked higher that, you know, maybe we could rebound today. Clearly that didn't happen. And I think the underlying factors that we have been experiencing for quite some time are still in play, right? We still have inflation and now there's globally rates being raised to address that issue. But that's kind of a crunch in the near term because we're still paying a lot of money at the grocery store and now paying more money on our mortgages. Last week we got data that, um, consumer spending had pared back pretty substantially and then also you know hearing that the economy shrunk last quarter and economists are predicting that we could see the GDP shrink again a couple good pieces of news though um, gas prices appear to be coming down and we could get to sort of experience some relief from that you know as soon as a few weeks from now um, and there's also a breaking report yesterday I want to highlight in the Wall Street Journal that uh, the Biden administration could consider rolling back tariffs on hundreds of billions of dollars worth of goods that we import from China. Tariff is basically a tax. And right now we tax, you know, basically 25 percent on and many of these goods we import. So if the Biden administration goes through with that, that could experience we could experience some relief from that in the short term. Economists think that that could bring inflation down about a percentage point. Oh, um, okay. So, you know, highs yeah. and lows. <laughs> Well, you know, as we saw in, in the beginning of this, you know, talking about prices are, are starting to go down. But, of course, they're up so much from last year. You know, and really scary, uh, some new data shows Americans are being forced to dip into their savings even more to try to combat this rising inflation. So because people are now having to dip into their savings in order just to survive, uh, you know, day to day, week to week, is this a sign of a possible recession? Yeah, I mean, as many as 60% of people are living paycheck to paycheck. And when you have prices skyrocketing, you can't possibly budget for that. So I think a lot of people are being forced to, to dip into savings. That's not necessarily a sign of slowing economic growth. I think what is more concerning to economists when they look at the economy across the board is the fact that consumer spending has pared back pretty dramatically. All right, Lydia Moynihan, uh, business contrib contributor. Thank you so much for that. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.